problems versus results. Do I work with the idea that we're going to fix a problem or do I work with the idea that we're going to create results? In one of my books, I talk about the difference between the pathological model versus the developmental model. And that's essentially what's at the heart of this question. The question here is, were you normal before? Suddenly you had a problem and your lifestyle is below where, where, it would, where it was before. And now you must bring yourself back up again to normalcy. Or is what's going on today in your life simply a result of who you are, what your life is like, but you're ready to upgrade your life. And then you say things like, well, but I wasn't born overweight and yet right now I'm obese. So yes, I want to fix the problem of obesity. What I'm saying to you is that's one way to look at it. We can also look at it differently. We can say, look, I've been obese for a while. I'm obese. That's just part of, you know, what my development brought me into, into obesity. Now that I recognize that obesity is not where I want to go with my life, I want to evolve. I want to grow into a person who, who is trim and fit and healthy and strong and fast and agile, you see? So those two models has to do, have to do with how we think about our lives. We can think about our lives in terms of the problems that we want to eliminate, and, and there's nothing wrong with the mind, with that way of thinking. Or we can think about our lives in terms of it is what it is, and I want to change now. If we think about our lives as being defined by a number of problems, then we're looking at the pathological model. We have an illness, we have a problem, we have a disease, we have a lack, and we want to fix that. Or we can say, you know what? I am what I am. I've gotten here all these years. My life resulted in this that you see right here. And this is what I am, but I want to grow from here. That's the developmental model. Both of those work. One is called the pathological model, meaning there's a pathology, there's a problem. The other model is the developmental model, meaning here I am, but I want to develop into something bigger and better. So just a different way of looking at it. But although we can work with you, whether you ascribe to one model or the other, in general, if you begin to think of yourself as you are, you know, um, perhaps it might make it easier for you to have some sort, some type of self-acceptance and then grow from there. I, I am telling you that this is relevant because I lived what I thought was a great life for many years until I had a crisis, a pretty severe crisis. I wrote two books about that and you can read all about it. Um, I'm over that now, but at the time it was pretty severe. I didn't understand what was happening. And initially, my only thought was something broke. I don't know what broke, therefore I cannot fix it. And my obsession was what broke? And how do I fix it? I knew that I was broken somehow, but I was in burnout mode, but I didn't know, you know, you know, what buttons to press, what screws were loose, and I didn't know how to fix it. Until one day I realized, you know what, this has been going on for a while. It had already been a few months. This has been going on for a while, and it has become my new normal. Fortunately or unfortunately, this is what I am now. The question then is, how can I evolve from here? That's when I began to adopt a different mindset, a different way of looking at my life. And I said, okay, what can I do right? What can I do better? And I began to improve from there, created a whole new life. And I say fortunately or unfortunately, because the total burnout, it's unfortunate because, you know, it hurts. We, we, we feel like we lose a lot, you know, different types of things, you know. The, uh, you know, money, you know, a bunch of things, uh, are, are negative consequences of that. But there's one thing that's really awesome, perhaps worth more than everything else, and that is a huge reboot, a restart, a huge clean slate. When you feel like you lost everything, you, you have not, nothing else to lose, and therefore you basically have a clean slate, and you can 
recreate or create a life in whatever direction you want. You have nothing else to lose. So in some ways, it is like being born again, but in the same body as an adult. So in some ways, it's really awesome. You know, a lot of people wish they had the opportunity to start a brand new, fresh life. And for the most part, it's really difficult to do that because we have a number of commitments and attachments that make that impossible. Well, when a person completely breaks down and, and burns out, all of those attachments go away. Even the word is interesting, right? Burn out. You know, if you burn everything, there all those ropes that attach you to the different people and circumstances, all of that has burnt out. So there are no more attachments and therefore we can begin a life from scratch. So in some ways, it is very fortunate. And it was when I realized that, that I switched from a pathological inquiry within myself, what's broken, how do I fix it, to a mindset of, okay, this is what I am. I have a blank slate in front of me. I have a blank sheet of paper of a life. What do I want to do with this lifetime, the years that I have left? So this model has been useful for me and it has allowed me to let go of a lot of the weight and pain of what I thought I had lost because all of that was substituted by the excitement of what I can create. Okay, So how you look at it depends on you. We can work with you in both cases. Do you have a problem that you want to solve or are you the way you are but you want to be better and different? See, you choose how you look at it and we can we can begin with either or. All right, in both cases, in other words, when a person ascribes to the developmental model, like this is what I am, I want to improve my life as an example, that may include an addiction, let's say to a drug. Well, that's a problem that we got to solve. Now we we are sort of back to the problem solving process, but but we're solving the problem in the context of a much larger goal, which is to build a new life, develop into somebody new, right? So, and, and also if you're solving a problem, we might be, if, if you come in with the attitude that you want to solve a problem, I'm obese and I want to lose weight, that's my problem. Well, at some point we're going to also discuss why you want to lose weight and what kind of life you want to live and why it's important because we're going to be using those images as sources of motivation for you as well. So, so no matter how you start off, we're going to use the opposing model uh, in, our, in our sessions. Does that make sense? Okay, so just wanted to put that out there and because those are questions that people ask me very often. Thank you.